Would you like the ability to be able to play absolutely any music while live streaming on Twitch without getting a DMCA strike while still keeping a minimalistic sound setup? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. G'day, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. Recently, I uploaded a video showing you how to stream while playing absolutely any music using an application called VoiceMeter Banana to be able to separate the audio tracks. However, a lot of people don't really like using applications like VoiceMeter Banana or Wavelink. It's a little bit too confusing, a little bit overwhelming, and hey, I get it. There's a lot going on on those applications. So I've put together this video where you don't use any virtual mixing software and in a direct response to one of my viewers, Shug White, who's requested I do this using OBS 28 Beta. Now this will work on OBS 27 and other versions. It just looks a little bit different in the GUI. Let's get straight into it. So here we are in OBS 28 beta. And as I said, this isn't much different to version 27. They've just smoothed over the GUI to make it look a little more modern. Now I've left this as a very basic setup with our desktop audio and our microphone channel. Desktop audio is obviously where all your game sounds are gonna come through and ordinarily your music. And then we've got our microphone channel. Now I'm not recording this live so that sound meter there isn't actually gonna represent my voice. It's just there as a graphical representation. Now we need to download a virtual audio cable. The best one I know of is voice meter virtual audio cable. Now I know I said we're not gonna use voice meter. We're not using the mixer. All we're using is the virtual audio cable. So go ahead and search for voice meter virtual audio cable and go ahead and click on the virtual cables link. I will put a link in the description to the direct download page. You can get a free virtual cable there. And if you want to purchase more, it's by a donation. It only costs about $5 US. That way, if you want to patch through and separate other audio tracks, you can do that there. On the download page, go and select the correct version for whatever platform you're using, either Windows or Mac. Once that's downloaded, install it, restart your computer. Click on Windows key and type down settings. It's going to bring up this window. Go ahead and scroll down until you see advanced sound options and click on the app volume and device preferences. Here's where we can apply individual audio interfaces to particular applications. So if you're going to be using Spotify or VLC, or if you want to use Firefox or Chrome to be able to play YouTube, you need to make sure that they're open and they're playing some sort of sound so it populates this window. So I'm going to start up an audio track just so we can get a real time view of what's happening. And on the top output, we're going to select cable input. This is our virtual audio cable. Literally, all we have to do is click on that and it's going to separate the audio track. And as you can hear, we've just lost all sound. That's because it's not being patched to our desktop. Go ahead and hit file settings and choose audio. In our mic auxiliary audio two, we're going to select our cable output. Now, obviously mic auxiliary audio is our actual microphone and it's set to default. So we're going to leave that as it is. Click apply and we can now see that track is now populated. Go ahead and click on output and ensure that advanced mode is set in our output mode at the top. Once we've done that, we can see we've got these other options. Click on the Twitch VOD track and make sure audio is selected for track one. That's what the viewers are going to hear when you're live. And track two is selected in the Twitch VOD track. Now we're going to go down into our audio mixer and we're going to click on the little cogs down in the bottom left. And we're going to choose on our mic cogs to monitor and output. That way you can hear what's happening through your stream. Don't worry about the other two. I have to set them as monitor and output for the point of this video because I'm having to record this through Streamlabs OBS, which I really don't like. We're going to untick mic cogs 2 in track 2. That way our music isn't going to come through in our stream VOD, but everything else is going to come through live for your viewers to hear. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you've liked this, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.